Hey guys, welcome to the live stream. My name is Alberto Cordero, and today, well, I have been planning. Uh, okay, this is the third part. And all right, uh, first of all, I have been working on this guy for uh, for a few days now. I did like two live streams on just how to do the school, how to do the details, that kind of things. And I wanted to do today like a, uh, a walkthrough on how to do this kind of uh, texturing and system painter, but it's not quite ready yet. So still working on um, some more uh, interesting pattern here in the skin. So how to to get a nice result, you know, and uh, so I'm probably going to be sculpting something else today because it's like I said before, it's not ready yet. The uh, the full texturing uh, workflow for these guys. So let me go here real quick to rendering. One little second. There we go. Okay. So the thing is that it's not ready yet. So I can't do like a full live stream on how to actually texture this guy if it's not ready because I'm actually researching and trying to get the right result for these guys but so far i like the result i like the the, the this, is gonna, this is gonna be the the skin that, I, that i'm gonna be working on the the, the color the, um, the details that everything here is just i just love it how it's uh, how it's coming along so i will probably do like a full live stream um on tuesday for uh doodle tuesday so if you're around it's gonna be uh it's gonna be really really interesting for you guys all right Okay, let's see. Uh, let me take this off for a second because it's. All right, Michal, welcome to the live stream. Always a pleasure to have you here. It's Hus Husinus. It, it, is that is that right? I, I can thank you and thank you for being here in the live stream. And so Jordan, something like that. Okay, he's asking. Okay, uh, let's see. Two D code or C rush. All right. Um, well. I don't have any experience on uh, 3D code, but I have seen a lot of tutorials, and uh, I have a friend that he actually used um, 3D code for uh, for Sculpting, and now he's changing to Blender. Anyways, between ZBrush and uh, 3D code, I think there is a difference in money and how you know how this works. But I would totally recommend um, ZBrush. I can I cannot talk about. You know, 2D code because I, I I don't have any the, enough experience to say uh, that you know 2D code is the guy or but I'm I'm pretty sure that I can actually say right now that C brush is the guy so save a little bit more and uh, and try to get uh, C brush and like you said yeah there is a there is a difference for in in money it's actually a lot of difference the 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 professional version of 3d code is at 379 dollars and uh yeah that is a huge difference but you know you can do something um you can try i mean it's it's not that you're gonna you can try with um uh, there is actually one version of c rods is 150 dollars and it's not it's not like the full version but you, you can actually do a lot with that so all right look what what are we gonna school today i'm gonna open here see rush and i'm gonna explore the uh the plane faces because now i'm using that for uh like um uh, for the right proportions that kind of thing for a face because i'm planning on doing a human face today but it's gonna be human face but something distort I'm gonna be trying to do. Uh, let me see something here. Now, something is happening with my. Uh... One second, guys. Let me close this. 
I don't know, something is happening with my um, my OBS. Hey, Polycrams, welcome to the live stream. Mustafa, how you doing, man? Welcome. And I'm I'm actually s streaming in Twitch and in YouTube, just in case I'm talking to someone. And you're like, okay, who's who's that? <laughs> All right. Okay. So today, like I said before, I have a reference here, amazing reference. It's for a, a real sculpture. I love real sculptures. That's my. Uh, I, I just, I love it. So what I'm gonna do here? I'm just gonna make a mix between a human and uh, something totally like creature kind of looking thing, right? So bear with me here. It's gonna be looking real weird at first, but then it's gonna be awesome. All right. So I'm going to the plain faces here, and let's. Uh, I'm gonna take this one here and let's go for blender for a second and again activate this right here this kind of thing is gonna allow me to get stuff from Rush to blender or from blender to Rush. hey David how you doing man and let's do that right now and I'm just gonna send whatever is visual here and I'm gonna say send visible and it's supposed to be there we go right there awesome so let me edit this for a sec. You know what? No. Let me upload this. There you go. Something like that. And Ctrl Shift Alt C. Move the cursor right there. And I'm gonna deactivate the the the, the floor because this is kind of distracting. So I just go in display, grid floor, and this two, and voila. Alright. So why is the reason that I'm actually using this lately? And the reason is it actually have real uh, actually have like a real um proportion for a human face I used to draw this when I was back in school and uh, it was quite interesting and I actually I loved it so I'm gonna be using this uh, for my base to you know to start sculpting so the last sculpture that I did let me open here this uh, real quick for a second it's gonna be uh, I think is nice no, not that one one second Hey Polycrams, uh, awesome, awesome to have you here, man. All right, let me open the next version. Is twenty four? Yeah, it's version twenty four. One second. <clears throat> I think I have. No, I don't have. What I did here and the other one, it's fine. Well, a little second because it's like ten million polygons, so it's it's gonna take a while. All right, there you go. All right. Okay. So I started this. If you see, you still have the base for the other one. So it's kind of like, so you can see that that little base right there. You can see that I was actually using that. I started this one using the, the plain faces and the results. I love the result. And I quite have... I, I did sort of distort it a little bit, this part of the nose, that kind of thing. I, I love that kind of things. I really don't like to do like uh, human characters. It just, I get, I get bored because there's no much interesting details, that kind of things. So you get to a point and I'm like, okay, I just, I had to do something weird here, right? <laughs> All right. So the thing with this one was that I, I didn't, ha I have like a reference. So I mix it up a little bit and uh, af off off live train I did some other details like this little bumps right there some more veins and a little interesting neck or just uh, with some alphas still here and like the nose at uh, that little thing right there there you go so yeah anyways let me restart this whole thing and I'm I was thinking on doing uh, next um, a helmet for that guy so that that can actually wait for a little bit until I uh, until I uh, finish with the texturing process all right let's get started right now yeah the molds looks looks interesting right so it kind of like it breaks the uh, the symmetry part all right so let me um, let me open here my reference here for a second and I'm very tempted to actually school the helmet but I don't know, I just, 
I feel like I need to sculpt this this thing. But let's just do it, right? All right. So let me open here for a second. I'm gonna be using clay strips a lot. And when you see that, let me let me press here and uh, start um, a screencast key so you can see the keys that I'm placing here. So when I press Y, it's it's gonna be actually um, the the clay strips, right? So let me go there. Let me um, let's go for stroke. No, not stroke. Let's go curve and it's gonna flat. When you put it flat, you're gonna actually have like uh, some more sketchy feeling because it's gonna be uh, I don't know. You can actually. Me. There you go. Yeah, let's go down. Nope. There you go. So let me just start a little smooth here in these areas right there because I'm going to be sculpting the face right now. And let me just let's do. There you go. Just a little bit. Kind of distracting, but it's fine. Alright. I'm thinking on the. I don't know if I'm gonna sculpt this with the eyes closed or open. Let's see. Let me start sculpting the proportions first. Uh, oh, one of the reasons that I actually do this a lot for um, just like a bust is because when I when if I actually need that kind of. Uh, if I actually need that that little that face, I can actually you know use it. Bodies are you know important, but the face is actually kind of more interesting. It it, it can take a, a little bit more than actual you know the process, the full process. So you have like a you already started something, so it's it's good to have you know like a like a backup or something. Just in case you in you're doing a character and you're like okay I need a face and you go there and like bam you have it. Like for now I need I need a face for uh, Hogan, one of the characters I'm working on, and uh, I will probably use one of those one of these faces because actually it's gonna save me a lot of time. So I have been waiting the right time to actually start working in. Um, in Hogan because Hogan is one of those characters that I will actually want to finish the whole thing because it's a huge character Our... Hey El Kadaz, how you doing man? Welcome to the live stream and for you Polycram, he's asking me could you tell me how to focus uh, focus the screen on uh, and mask it area. All right, so let's say that you have. Uh, okay, one second, one second. Oh, yeah, of course. All right, so let's say that uh, I'm gonna mask this area right here, and I'm gonna invert. You want to focus just in that area right there, like hide the other thing and just focus on that. Is that what you, what you mean or? Just trying to go closer. What, what exactly do you mean? Let me hide that and kick on on this. Someone's asking asking something in tweet in uh, Twitch. So let me just let me get here like a shadow for the mouth here. And let me. Oh, awesome. <laughs> All right. Great. Okay, let me just like a little shadow here for the mouth. There you go. Something subtle, not too intense. Like I said before, I'm going to be sculpting human face and with something drastic, let's say. I'm thinking of horns. I love horns. I have a friend that he said that everything looks cool with horns. 
And he's right. I actually do, I actually love doing horns. I don't know, it just looks cool. I actually I have a character that I started in the, in the sculpt. No, it's fine. You can ask me anything you want, man. I'm here for that. While sculpting, I can actually actually answer any question you have. It's fine. All right, so. So one of the parts in a character that I actually love to do is this part here in the neck. I don't know, it just it feels so the first stage is just uh, in this case I don't have any I don't have any um dy uh, dynamic to poly activated right now because this uh plain faces it actually come with uh with a nice resolution so I can sculpt for a little bit and it's not gonna you know limit uh, the poly the poly count and for details or whatever but in this stage right now I can actually sketch just a little bit and try to get everything in the right you know like right now I'm trying just to uh, get everything uh, like round and not flat me uh there you go not too intense all right let me see if i can actually uh do a little bit more out of the um out of the bus of the neck the base of the neck let me see Let me start trying to get drink some water. I don't have any chocolate today. That's that's not good. I need my chocolate. I need to have, you know, recharge on batteries in like in like an hour or something. So, but I, I think I have some chocolate candy or something <laughs> from Halloween still. I'm doing here right now just trying to you know um, find some interesting base anatomies some nice proportions So let me put the uh, the eyeballs right there for a second, and uh, let me see if I can, if I decide to actually do eyes open or close. Let's see, and let's go to the front. Let me see one second here. I have a really nice reference for anatomy. All right, I got it right here. All right, uh, let's. I don't have the face. Let me find a school. I have a school right here. Mm, head. Oh, there is a there is a software 
for um, school references. It's called 360, I think it is. I I don't think. All right there we go. I have this little uh, look at this. So it has separated everything by categories. You know, like it's legs, arms, uh, hands, uh, anatomy for the torso, that kind of things. You know. Uh, so whenever that's one of the school references, let me put this one right there. I forgot to put this one. So um, whenever I need to, you know, whenever I need uh, like reference for this, I just open this file and voila, pure references is amazing for uh, to organize references. There you go, let me move this to, to the side. And uh, let's see, let me focus here for a second. All right. I'm just gonna use this as a base. It's not gonna be uh, the right thing. So I'm just gonna move it right there. And let me do uh, mirror and mirror. I'm gonna select this one as a center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm reading the, the messages in um, in Twitch. It said, oh, yeah, El Kadas, you need um, you need more. Uh, school tuning blender. Oof. Every I do a school tuning blender every single day. Every day. I I can. The more you uh, exercise something, the more the better you're gonna be, or the more experience you're gonna have, right? Have a school. T uh, do you ever have school team not respond? Dealing with uh, that right now. What do you mean school team not respond? What what exactly do you mean? Like uh, the school mode is is not answering you, or is is not. And the referencias is a uh, pure ref. Let me let me create like that. Pure ref. Genial ese software. Genial, genial, genial. Me gusta. Tú puedes organizar todas las referencias ahí como tú quieras y wow. Yo uso yo uso ese y uno que se llama uh, Cuadro con K. Let me move here one second. I have a lot of comments here. All right, let's get going. Okay, so I have, I'm using the the head. Let me change. It's gonna be head, of course, <laughs> and it's gonna be eyes. It's one of the things that actually bother me when I'm actually sculpting. When I'm actually modeling a lot, and uh, ooh, I'm naming stuff. I have a model that is huge. That model has like. Uh, 300 pieces or 900 pieces I, I can't remember right now but there's a lot of pieces and uh, I had to start naming now and I uh, that's that takes a lot of time all right let's let me sculpt let me let me this is gonna be a test I'm just gonna duplicate this gonna move it to another layer gonna select this one and let's gonna sculpt but what I'm gonna do here I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna make a test to see if I'll do um, let me separate this a little bit if I will do um, eyes closed or open, let me see how this how this is gonna work. quick uh, let me open here 
One second, guys. Uh, let's go for references. I got so much references here. Oh my god, this is insane. Uh, so many. Oh, right here. Alright. Um, okay, so let me... Oh, that probably, that will probably is, uh, one second, the scale in the model or rotation, that kind of things that, that can actually affect uh, dynamic topology performance when you are sculpting. If it's not, if it's not doing anything, it's just because something, something is messing around with that. Try with that. Try to fix the, uh, this, the scale or rotation that kind of things you can press ctrl a let's say you have this model you can press ctrl a and select scale and you're gonna reset the scales that you have or rotation or whatever go again yeah the <laughs> painting but you're painting in the uh, so some painter or still in Blender. No, lo que tienes que hacer es simplemente coger la imagen y arrastrarla a la aplicación y listo. Él automáticamente las organiza, las organiza ahí. All right, so let me, uh, let me keep going with this. Just a second here. Just to have something there. Like I said before, this is just like a shadow for the other details I'm going to be doing here. There we go. So let me try to do... I'm going to have... Uh, yeah, let me activate right now um, Dynamic Topology. And there's some masking still from Seabrush. Let me activate that. There we go. And let's go for uh, smooth shading. Let me do like a quick symmetrize just in case. All right. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna leave it like that. I'm not sure right now. I will probably shame my mind, but so far, let me get going with this. I'm gonna move to the ears right now. Let me try to do uh, something. Uh, there you go. Control. Hide mask. And uh, let me do something. Let me focus right now in the ears references. One second. Let's go for anatomy. And uh, ears. I have a lot of ears here. All right, there you go. All right. <clears throat> Get started on this. So ears are are interesting to do. It's it's just it's an interesting process because the anatomy in the ear is just yeah interesting but the shapes the shapes are you know not too bad it's just there's a lot to have in mind here there we 
go. Let me try to create a nice merge here. Looks very square. We'll try to fix that. The sculpting is about burning stages. You got to go and uh, use the process. If you don't use the process, you're going to get lost on time. Just focus in the small areas. Just try to go from one stage to another. Don't don't rush it. If you rush it, you're probably gonna be doing a process that you don't supposed to be doing. I'm talking about um, sketching process, um, sketching details, go for more proportions, that kind of thing. So you have to be uh, you got you need to have in mind that everything have the right the right time. So where is my reference? Right here. So here now I need to. Yeah, I like I said, I have a video about how to do that, Michal. You can you can you know you can check that. Just gonna get the general shape here just a second. I don't wanna spend too much time on this. Let me go for inflate to increase this the intensity strength. Here for a second. Like that. So let me go and use this little thing here. Is the other cavity that's going like that. Something like this. Your name? <laughs> Mecha? I think it's like that, right? I never get it right, anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. Let me. I don't like that. At, all right. I'm gonna leave it like that for now because it's not gonna be human, so it's fine. For base, it's just it's fantastic. Let me go for. <laughs> I know, right? Is it bad? Let me uh, fix.
I need a uh, the Mac cap that I'm using. I know. <laughs> you have to do something with your. Well, I don't know here with the trouble to say your name like Mecha something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's just horrible. It sounds horrible. All right, let me. I need a little darker. And there you go. Not to. Yeah, that one looks better. He's like thinking and mad at the same time. It's like, okay, I'm gonna close my eyes for a second here. Yeah, to, you know, figure it out if I want to jump. Just a little subtle area right here. Yeah. <laughs> hey Mustafa, how you doing, man? I will probably, I will probably, yeah, I, I had to. <laughs> yeah, she, it's a she. She is a she. So, Mitch, Michi, I don't know. <laughs> Can you change your name? I had told you that before. Why you didn't change your name so I can say better? I like Susie or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. It sounds weird, right? So what I'm doing here, just clean it up. Cleaning up just a little bit. I used to have the, the old um, quads here, so I'm converting everything to triangles from the Navajo topology. So if you see those black things, it's because you see those black things right there? That's um, I'm trying to, There you go, it's cool with the Navajo Topoly because it used to have the Topoly coming from uh, from ZBrush, pure quads. Let me fix this. Michaya, oh dear lord. <laughs> that sounds wow. Michaya, like that? Yeah. That sounds fun. The Depoli is gonna be in a second. I need to, right now, I need to see if I'm going to do the helmets. I mean, the helmets. The, the horns or not. Let's see if, if I actually it's gonna work. So I'm gonna do a copy here in a second and let me start modifying the hair because this is not gonna be I'm changing right now. The only thing is gonna be kind of human is gonna be that. So everything from that point is gonna be I mean human-ish kinda. So it's not Let me see. Oh, for Topoli, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna use any add-ons. Anything is gonna be all traditional. So, 
when I mean traditional, I mean using actual polygons like by hand, not like drawing and a few faces. It's because not everyone has access to those kind of add-ons. I have those add-ons, but what if you don't? How would you do that if you're watching the tutorial, right? All right, so let me, right now for a second, let me duplicate this guy. And let me do something really weird. Let me go and let's say, okay, let me open oh, the music that I'm listening here right now. It's so, so good. Wow. Get me inspired. All right, let's see. Uh, gonna use the masking tool for a second increase strand here ooh this song is so good so let's see imagine that the horn is gonna be kinda like that but it's coming from here so let's see What if it goes like that? Or one second, let me go for another one, and let me go here for maybe blue, like this. This is the and something like this. So guys, what do you think? Blue or black? Black? Like, probably something like this. Coming from here, some interesting shapes here. Blue or black, blue or black, come on guys. <laughs> okay, I have two two boats for black, one for blue. Let me let me keep going on this. It's all like something like this. Something like that and or I like either one, either one of those because I freaking love horns. It's spread to the sides, like, huh? Let me <laughs> look at that. That looks that looks so weird, right? All right, let me let me make a test here. Let me uh, go and use uh, for a second um, some curves. Let's play with the curves. All right. Let me go here and let's say as y is zero and let's like that and let's go to the side and let's just make it in 3d right so i'm going to scale this a little bit i'm going to put it right there because let's make the black first all right so you do decide which one looks better right let me move this one right here but it's going to have of course like depth something like that oh, I love I love doing this kind of stuff here so let me increase something like this maybe 
me go for a second. Wait. Yeah. All right. So let me go and give it some little more um, volume here. Let's go for full, kind of like this. More resolution. Kind of like that. And let me go and say, hey. Uh, right there there we go so let me modify this a little bit kind of like this and make a mirror for a second and all right this is gonna be the black so I'm gonna put like a of course black color here go to settings and let's move this one right here all right, let me go get it closer to what I have here in the content. So it's going to be a fair decision, right? All right. And something like this. All right, this is the black design for the horns. What do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna send you the uh, the the I'm gonna send you the link. Don't piss me off. I'm gonna send you the link of the. <laughs> hey, Sambly, how you doing, man? Welcome to the live stream. All right, so let me a little buffy. Let me put it right there, something like that. Okay, this is our these are the black ones. So let me do the blue ones just real quick. Now let me. Uh, go for blue ones I'm gonna put right there all right now let me put it in the right position let me move this here for a second one second guys something like this and to create one more <laughs> look at that oh dear lord so one second something like this no it's just like that there you go all right and let me let me try to put it in the right let me hide this for a second there you go This looks a little. Let me put this one down here. There you go, and let me maybe something like this, and let's go. There you go. All right, so. Oh, let's see the the comments. All right, so uh, let's see. These are the blue ones, and these are the black ones. Which one do you think? Let me go with the black one just a little bit more, like like that. And. You know, a little more strong base, really strong base. All right, there you go. So let me go here for a second and let me try to make a nice curve. Something like this. Better, interesting. something like this what do you think guys all right that one or in this one let's see let me hide blocks from for a second something 
something like this, maybe. And let me put this one uh, passing to the front, maybe. What do you think, guys? Come on, talk to me. Well, I can actually make a mix in between those two. Yeah, I can make a mix between those two. Yeah. yeah. I had some people here on YouTube. They saying that make a mix between those two. But black ones. Let me let me create a, a nice interesting curve here. Man. I actually loving the black ones right now. Let me see if I can. So, let me make right now. Let me duplicate this and move it to another layer real quick. And let me try to uh, mix it up. And that's too much. Yeah, that's too that's too much. No, it looks no 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 that's <laughs> oh my that's very very busy. Secondary tiny horns, huh? All right, let me hide this for a second. Move it to this layer right here. Let me activate this one. One second. This is how it looks with the blue ones. <coughs> this is how it looks with the uh, blue ones, and this is how it looks with the black ones. I think the black ones, right? Yeah, I like I yeah, I'm liking the, the the black ones. What do you think? Let's see from far away. Let me hide for a second uh, the lines. Let me activate just one second here and. like the black ones I mean let me go for material for one second let's go for cycles and let's go clay what do you think guys If I go for with the black ones, I need to make a space for the tiny ones that you're saying. Let me see his name. Hmm. Oh dear. Let me do something like this. Yeah, one of them had to be for sure. Now let me let me do something here. Let me um uh where is it? Da, 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 da. All right, let me duplicate this one. I'm gonna scale this one. 
and let me put it and somehow they actually it's a smaller so uh, let me go up for a second put this up <laughs> sexy magical creature <laughs> all right polychromes I'm looking at oh all right that looks wow uh, someone sent me the picture in uh, in twitch looks yeah looks yeah intense two kind of two set of horns looks very busy let me let me see wait This is too long, let me try go to the side. Oh wait, wait, one second. Let me put this one's this one's gonna be like a small kinda devil looking horns. So if you're a religious person, this is the time that you close your eyes right now. Okay, Mihal? Let me put this one right here. I should show this guy to my mother in law. Let me put this one right there. <laughs> yeah, the problem is that uh, she's very, very religious. So if she sees this, she will probably have a heart attack or something. <laughs> I'm an evil person. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let me put this. I kind of like have the same curve as the big ones, but it's not related. I, I will do something here, huh? I don't know. Let's see. I probably had to modify something in the head. This part here looks really empty, so I had to do something here that it actually matches that. Go out from the sides. From down here or up? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah oh yeah that looks that's a real devil yeah that's the real ones 
What movie is that? Oh, let me move with this. You mean like that? Now is that you actually had that? Wow. Oh lord. <laughs> Alright guys, what do you think? I need to have a final decision to start school to mourn this guy, so and probably do the Ritopoli and move on to uh What do you guys think about the horns? Of course I had to do something here in the head that actually is gonna support this empty space right there. And of course this one right here so it's going to be kind of like a mix it up and trying to make it trying to make it work single horns yeah he's getting busy <laughs> Johnny Bravo's here. Uh, one second. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on. All right, let's go here for a second, and let's try to make it. Uh, one second. One second. Right. Oh, one, uh, one more thing, guys. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel. Or in Twitch, YouTube or Twitch, just do it right now, guys. It's gonna help me a lot. I appreciate it, so I can do this more often. All right, so let me select this guy for a second here, and let me go for scoot mode. And I think let me let me let me make a test here. I'm gonna put these horns more to the back because I can I cannot see. One second. I want to see more of his. Uh... Oh, this song is so good. probably gonna feel like a small uh, kind of uh, spikes coming here not too much but just a little bit when it gets to school to horns So let me now sculpt that thing that I was talking about. Oops, no. Uh,
Let me add some more subdivisions here because it's just one second. Let me add a few more more resolution because it looks. All right, there you go. Now it looks more round in those um, cylindrical shapes. Uh, I have people in Twitch and people in uh, YouTube right now, Michal. So, yeah, there's a huge delay. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let me keep going on this. to make something here just a little bit and I think I'm gonna keep the nose like that so I will try to keep the factions in the face, you know, that everything in the face kind of human. I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, I think single is gonna stay. I, I don't know. I like it like that. Maybe later, if it's something change, uh, you know, I'll make a test. Let's see how it works, right? Oh, really? Huh. What happened with the quality? Because in YouTube, I think you, you can actually uh, go to 720p, I think. Yeah. Let me keep going with this. One second. All right, so let me move. Oh, dear Lord, I did something here in the ears. One second, wait. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I messed that up. Let me go here on TV, uh, front faces only. I'm watching both stream in YouTube and in Twitch, and I can see that. I can actually put it in uh, 7, 720p. But let me let me go and just so oh select the ears here for a second and hide everything else. 
height and move to another layer and let's go inside there you go so let me now start moving around the ears because I'm gonna start creating the right shape for the ears Creating just the overall shape, and now it's time for a school team here or definition. So let me when you're sculpting in uh, like a thin surfaces, like this one, for example, you have a very uh, thin space between the top and the, the inside. You have to activate from faces only, otherwise it's going to pull this side to this side when you're sculpting. Awesome, Mustafa. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. Like my face? What do you? <laughs> what do you mean? Let me. All right, I'm gonna try to um, finish this up here real quick because I'm moving to the retopology in a second. There you go, I'm gonna go for inflate brush and just trying to uh, move for a second. I need ears again. And this here, just a second. Everything. Oops, I still have those blue horns right there. Move it to move this to the first layer. 
There you go. There you go. Let me make a nice balance. I have to make a nice balance in between the face and the horns right there. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So we have one hour and 17 minutes right now. One hour and 17 minutes, nice. All right, so let's get into the end like that. Okay, let me do some small changes here. In the mouth right now, let me work in the mouth and the nose. And let me select here just a face. There you go. A little bit more here. Alright, control I high mask. There we go. So let, me, let me create some more. I don't want to create uh, a dramatic and heavy nose here. Give me something. Um, a nice curve right there. Something like this. There we go. Hey, winter. Winter is coming. <laughs> How you doing, man? Nice name. Thank you for being here in the live stream, man. So let me... Yeah. It reminds me of Game of Thrones, right? Of course. It's actually winter is here in Las Vegas right now. It's kind of chilly. Not too cold. It's just perfect.
Oh, thank you, Elkavas. All right, uh, he said... Hey, Joab, how you doing, man? Welcome to the live stream. All right, uh, Joab, he's, he's asking why not to use Seabrush? Well, I use Seabrush for just a little bit, but I don't know. Um, I like, I feel more comfortable in Blender, actually. I do use Sea Rush, but you know, mostly all my uh, video tutorials or um, live streams are created for for Blender. I actually have a, li a, a, a live stream that was actually sculpted in Sea Rush. Let me create a, a more organic look in here in the nose because it looks kind of square Now I notice that El Kodas is Franklin. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> How you doing, man? Jeez, I was like, okay, I'm I'm kind of slow, yeah, because it's morning, it's too it's too early. I wake up here like six, six a.m. because the, here, you know, it changed the the time it changed, so it's basically wow. I'm like, all right, I don't want to get crazy here in detail because that's gonna be for uh, uh, dynamic support. I mean, for motor resolution. So I I'm gonna jump right now to. Uh, Start the retopoly here with this guy. Let me concentrate for a second here in the mouth. Just a second. I think I have enough for the rich of poly. Let me hide everything. Yeah, I have enough for rich of poly.
right. All right, guys. I think I'm moving on to redeploy now. Okay. One second. Good. So let me select this guy for a second. Hmm. I'm gonna do half the uh, the hull for um, there's a poly in C rush and the other half by hand in Blender. All right? So you you know. All right, so let me let me send this over there. There you go. What's happening here? Why is, well, let me close this for a second, one second. Something is weird here. The polycon right now is uh, seven, seven K, 78K. Let me send this to, there you go. Sue Rush. One second, control M. Oops. There you go. Something is messing around with my uh, my hotkeys here. Yeah. Something is totally messing around with my hotkeys. All right, let me do, 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 do. let's go for geometry zero mesh and let me try with this one. Let's see. I forgot symmetry. One second, uh, X. There we go. And let's try again. All right, for the rest of the body, it looks it still looks too busy. Let me. I gotta do the face by hand, by hand, so. All right, I think I can use this. Yeah, I will cut the face off and let me let me do something first. Uh, let's go for yeah, my huh. Oh, okay. Uh, I see what's happening out here. All right, no. Let's 
go like that. Just in case, I need to have those. I just need this one, not those, but it's fine. Do it again. What is this doing? It's telling to the serial measure, hey, serial measure, this, those are the uh, some lines that it, I want you to uh, pay attention to. I think we have one right there. Let me let me make a test real quick here, and uh, let me rename this guy. I'm gonna put uh, one. And let's go back to C right and let's go say visible, send it to send it to Blender. And let's go back here and let's say and hide this one. And let me see if I can um, I could probably gonna cat until here and down here. Yeah. Still a little dense. I had to reduce a little bit the the topology, but it's fine. I think I can work with this. Hmm. All right. Let's do that. Okay. Let me uh, for a second here. Let me change. Uh, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna use this one and this one. So let me. There you go. And let me cut. Select, delete. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create this part right here. But first, I need to reduce all that topology that I have here that I'm not gonna be using. So what I do is I select like this. You know what? Let me delete this one first. Hmm. Let me cut it in the middle first. Yeah. And collapse. Center. Like that. Let me cut this. Select. Just delete. And let's go for mirror. And let's clip it in the middle. There you go. Type it in right there and oh lord, that's a lot. This can happen, I need to fix that. Like I said before in the other one, uh, this is not gonna be for animation, so I have a I think I can do better. One second, yeah. going down and down 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 let me see I like this I actually have yeah instant mesh is more common for um, oh yeah this can work well, let me send this one over there to blender what's happening here right there you go yeah this can actually work oh yeah I have a, yeah I have used instance mesh instant mesh we actually use it in my old job for um, for a, uh, a scan that uh, that we did and we wanted to reduce I think yeah, I think we use it for that, right, Franklin? We use it for uh, reducing the the amount of uh, you know vertices, polygons and stuff. Make a low poly version. I think we use instance mesh. I play with that for a little bit. Uh, no, no, no. Let me delete faces. There you go.
the thing with instant instant mesh is that it had some limitation of course but it, it can you can get some nice results it's not gonna be quite like effective I mean Siri mesh is not completely effective but you can get some good results And in this case, like what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, saving time to actually. Nice. All right. So let me unhide that one right there. And let me. Um... Let me delete those vertices right there. I'm going to start. Okay, let me prepare. Uh, let's go for uh, phase close. This is fine in these two right there. And let me activate this. So every time I move a vertex, it's going to snap in the surface. There we go. All right. So this is the game for moving vertices. That will ha how this actually works. Just moving vertices around and uh, bam. I need to create some loops. Let me let me uh, do something here real quick. I duplicate this more like that. Wait. There you go. Just gonna move this like that and uh, oh, like that. Those two here, let me create. Two more here. Down right there. I had too many here, so I'm probably gonna delete one of those. It's fine. Let me keep moving here. Right there. Hmm. I'm probably gonna need something like this well, I mean insert let me take the, the clipping off let me insert a circle align let's go for 16 SX, move it up, align those two vertices right there, corner with corner, and let's move this up. I think I had too much, too many. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's fine. Select everything. Control L. Control. L. No. Um. Let me flip the normals in this one. 
what direction? <clears throat> I'm just gonna move this straight here like that Because the poly can be actually a little bit boring. A little bit boring, just a little bit. Because, you know, it's just moving bridges around, there's nothing that is dynamic or you're not discovering anything new. You're just creating a, a mesh on top of something that you actually created before, right? So let me select. Duplicate, scale, scale, select, and rotate just a little bit. All right, there we go. I need to match those vertices right now. So let me uh, duplicate here. All right. All right, and select. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Over here and do the same with this one. Um, like this, and just gonna add one more subdivision. Over here, there we go. That a little bit. One more time. And I'm gonna get one more here, but I'm gonna move this up for just a second. And I'm gonna match. I'm trying to match. If you see, I'm trying to match every single vertices here. So every time, when I finish with this, creating the the principal loops, I just have to um, uh, fill those empty spaces. So let me select those here. Duplicate again. Deselect. Select here and move a 3D cursor. Deselect and do it again. There you go. And let me move this up for a second, like that. Not too close, just extrude. There you go. Move it up, select this one and invert the orientation of the normals let me move this up for a second Rigipoly you can in this case can be oh, okay let me let me get this clear Rigipoly is a myth all right for animation, there's a certain, uh, you know, there's certain rules that you have to follow because uh, you can get uh, better results, right? But if everything is working, if you have perfect uh, deformations, if you have uh, the loop that you actually want or you actually need, it doesn't matter. There is no police for uh, Rito Poly, all right? So 
<laughs> because I know some people they they are very strict and ha about these kind of topics in retopology, and actually I don't care. I just make it work. It had to work, right? It had to function. So if that's working, if that is actually uh, something functional, it doesn't matter. Just do it. Make it happen. Make it work, right? Just to be clear. And if you have, if you, if you only gonna do, uh, uh, like in this case, it's gonna be only for texturing purposes, you know, like uh, for rendering. It actually doesn't matter. But I'm doing this because I actually like, I actually like this process, and I want to get like a really nice subdivisions when I jump to uh, sculpting details in um, in multi in multi resolution. There you go, and let's go for the mouth right now, and I can add right there. Another circle aligned to the view. Mm. Like this. And let me let me delete those right here. There you go. So I have one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. I need to add one more here in the middle. So divide. There you go. And let me. Like this. Scale again, move it here, go to the corner of the mouth. Move it down here. Fill this and then move it. Let me move this kind of close. There you go. <clears throat> so now we start um, connecting all of those. But before, give me one second, guys. I need to eat something real quick. One second.
pancakes. <clears throat> Sorry about that guys, I had to I had to run to eat. I did some pancakes this morning for the family. Family breakfast. And uh those are actually some leftovers. Hey Lujota, how you doing man? Welcome to a live stream. This is a camp set for a character. That's what it is. So now we start filling all those gaps, moving around, trying to get it in the right position. Right. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Move this one here, and this one's going to be for this one. Uh, the horns looks like balloons, like those inflatable, like skinny ones. This one here. <clears throat> No, not yet. This is this is just a concept. Ooh, 
there's a big gap right there. No, this one right there. Yeah, I'm agree with you. Looks funny. <laughs> but I still need to have a lot more details. So then it's going to be more, you know, non balloon looking, right? This one right here to the corner, right there. Move this one right there. <clears throat> I can actually, yeah, I think I can go there. So let me one second here and move this one right there. there and let me create one more like that there you go <clears throat> all right so now let me uh, stretch this a little bit there you go I need to uh, smooth this area so I relax a little bit more
Uh, yeah, Microsoft Paint 3D. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, that's something interesting. I'm trying to be uh, kind of fast here, guys, so I can actually start sculpting a little bit more details today. This part is done, done here, and need to close this gap right here. Hey man, thank you. Thank you, Mustafa. All right, so now I need to close this part here in the nose. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna select this here and gonna start creating some, there we go like that and kind of like this let me go This one right there. Create one more right there. 
but it's fine for now. Just need to close the whole thing. Um, let's say like that. Just like that. Oh, this one right there. open <clears throat> well just like that I had to uh, you know make some changes later but for now it's fine Now let's see how it looks. Mm, close that. Good. Love it. Make okay, one more loop here. Let me unhide. Select. There you go. Some principles, um, principle loops here. There you go. Looking good. Woo! All right, need some water. All right, I think redeploy is done for now. Yes, let me uh, move this one one second to here. There we go. Let me fix the ear here for a second. Uh, let me see. 
It looks good, but I need to relax a little bit more. It looks too tight. Gonna create another <coughs> loop right there. Just going to move this around to try to make it less busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm fixing this because in the baking process it can look weird sometimes. So. This right here. Okay, guys, I think it's looking looking good. Let me um, edit smooth um, just a level of one. So let's see if I have some pitch in here in some areas. Let me go and check this out. Yeah, I think this can work. <clears throat> so let me take this off, this one off, and let's go for multi resolution. Let me apply this. Let me duplicate this whole thing. And oh my goodness, I haven't saved 
Wow. Wow, baby. Before anything happens, let me just... Oh, dear lord. If I lose the whole, this whole thing, I will die. Oh, dear. Base code version zero. There you go. Whoosh. I'm gonna duplicate and move it to this layer right there. And now let me uh, apply. Looking good. And let's go for multi resolution. There you go. Let's subdivide in two levels and let's go for just. Let's go to Sculpt. Go at one. And. One second, one second, and move this one and open one second here. All right, let's start sculpting here. Let's go for details now. Second, one second, one second. All right. Okay. Just trying to get the, the the right proportions here. Let me do something real quick here. Um, so let me apply the trend wrap. Mm. 
this one is here, this one is here. No. There we go. Let's go to school again. <coughs> Oh, okay, he's saying, how did you start with 2D modeling? Who's that question? For who? Um, the webcam that I have is a Logitech, the, 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 the last one they have is 18, 1080, 1080p. It's a really good camera. I had done some... Uh, like a small recording for you know for some tutorials just me and that the result is really good
increase a little bit here. go let me uh, go for shading shading so I can see better what's happening. I don't, okay, Joe uh, says great work so far. One question: I don't have a, a sculpting option in the subdivision modifier. How do you enable that? This is not the. This is multi-resolution. This is now uh, subdivision surface. Is that what you mean? This modifier is uh, multi-resolution. It's actually made for that. Is that what you mean, or? Actually, when you go to sculpt uh, with the uh, subdivision so surface, you're gonna see a message right here that says it's not allowed to to sculpt in uh, with subdivision so surface activated. So what you have to do is uh, is uh, apply the subdivision so surface, and then you can actually sculpt with that uh, resolution.
All right, let me increase the level of uh, subdivision.
Hey Sam JR, how you doing man? <clears throat> Welcome to the live stream. So we had two hours and forty minutes so far. It's going really great so far. Oh yeah? Well, well, the more you practice, the more you're going to get used to how the surface behave. Because it's not the same sculpting in uh, dynamic topology that, that in multi-resolution, it behaves different. this so now let's uh, I could just kind of concentrate here in the face for a little bit I need to get uh, some details here let's uh, hide the rest and what I'm gonna be doing here now is just uh, concentrate let me uh, lower the intensity and like that Let me go for so creating some small details like. Let me increase the subdivisions. There we go. Yeah, I have inflate activity gonna uh, lazy miles right now. Oops, wait. There we go. Try to wind down a little rim in the loop. And Create a mask. Let me lower here just a little bit.
go. Increase the level. Go for um, inflate tool. Do you know the same here. Let me start creating some wrinkle base.
Let's go for the inflates. I think let me create some more there's some wrinkles I'm gonna be doing in with the elephants I guess gonna be in a second my favorite um, process skin design Uh, my tablet, it's a uh, Wacken Intrus Pro Large. It's amazing. The pressure, the sensitive, you know, the sensitive uh, sensitivity for pressure is amazing. I haven't saved. Oh dear. The tablet? Wait, let me. Let me see if I can. It's huge. I love this tablet. I need to upgrade because now it's it's been like uh, I think two or three years old this summer I haven't still in two years I haven't changed the tip of the uh, the pen so and trust me I have schooled every single day with her Actually, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what. I'll be the next one. I have my eyes on uh, a 
Es sind Tick. Hey Nathan, how you doing, my man? Welcome to the live stream. Of work, I suppose. Look at this, Nate. It's horns. I know you love horns. Nathan says that everything looks cool with horns. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let me go low for a little bit here. How are you, Nate? <laughs> Storming? What is that? Snow? Raining? What is it? Alright, it's time for me to save again and get some nice alphas here and start doing some interesting details that's my favorite thing to do so let's do it oh oh dear and how that looks like I only have like uh, hurricane storms, that kind of things back in Cuba. Here in Las Vegas, it's just nah, not the same. All right, let's go and uh, let's activate this one right here. Level four, and let's add a texture. My voice is going down, huh? <clears throat> yeah. I've been talking too long. So let's go for another texture and let's go for um, skin and new. 
wait, wait, wait. Oh, open. And give me one second, guys. Let me see if I can find office, office, skin. Yeah, Michelle is ready. It's right here. So what I'm gonna do here with this one, and I'm gonna put it flat. Uh, let's see how this looks like. I'm gonna separate it in three parts. Go for a neck, this area right here, that, and the face. And we need one more subdivision. And let's go for random. Yeah, we need, let's say. <laughs> Delhi Lama creature. <laughs> We're gonna change your name. Come on, Blender, don't, don't. Let me go here and let's close this. I'm gonna be doing a. Uh, my next live stream, I think, is going to be on Monday, on um, Tuesday, for uh, Doodle Tuesday. I'm probably going to be uh, doing the uh, and uh, so some painter for the other character that I uh, show at, at 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 the beginning of the uh, the live stream. Come on, Blender. <laughs> Spoiler alert! That's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a while since the last one that I did. I can't even remember which one was the last doodle that I did. The Doodle Tuesday. Hmm. What is it doing? What is Blender doing? What, what, what happened here? Come on. Well, I just save just in case. Oh, Lord. Let me see if we can find here. Oh, there you go. Finally. Oh, no, no, no. The problem is that he selected something else. Praise I had 9.6 million polygons, so that's why he's getting so weird. The music that I'm listening right now is so good. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of the same style that they put in the movie, um, the new movie from Thor. They had created this weird... Uh, new world and looks so damn good <laughs> wow 
Oh lord. Okay, let's see. It didn't create it. Okay, there we go. Let me, uh, for one second here, deactivate the symmetry. This metal part. Ah, I love this kind of skin style. I just <clears throat> can stop doing this. I mean, too much intensity. This is gonna be the base. gonna make a mix I, uh, this one here is gonna be more subtle but this one right here it had to be much bigger so There you go. All right, so let's move. Let me hide for a second. Uh, you know what? No, let's leave it at that. And let me change here the alpha for a second. I have an alpha here and somewhere. Let me see if you can find it. Uh, texture library, let's see. Mm. Yeah, I found it here. There we go. Got it here. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if this is gonna work. Um, what I can do is uh, use it as a stencil.
between some kind of pores for there any huh I I don't know actually you can create it All right, let me change this one to, I'm going to use this one for the base and let's go for a uh, view plane. And uh, to intense, let me get going with this. And then I can use the, those pores and dump it here. Let me take the symmetry off. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Me, no, this one. Activate it again.
not too intense I just gonna like a small those areas Let's go for a uh, stencil. Let's go back to viewplane. <clears throat> All right. Whew, I love my. Vo I lost my voice. I think I have a chocolate here. One second. Oh yeah.
<laughs> hey Jota, welcome to live stream, man. And yeah, Blender is is really good for this. Okay, for some reason it's slow. What happened here? Wait, let me get out of school mode for a second. <clears throat> let me save. Chocolate is like um, energy pills. Yeah, so Division 7. I think. Hey, Ink, how you doing, man? I N K. How you doing? There's a 38 million polygons. Looking for me, I just saved, just in case. Come on, Blender. It's only using uh, four gigabytes of uh, four gigabytes of RAM, actually. <laughs> Go out get some food, Nate. Yeah, that makes me noodles, huh? Now I want to make a soup. Some soup, soup, soup. Look at this, Nate. Uh, this little minis. I have ate like a thousand of this. Come on. Come on, Blender. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, Blender, come on. You know, let me do something here. Wait, let me close this because I, I just saved. Let me open again. There we go. Um, move this. Um, actually, a little higher. Oh shoot! No. 
yeah six and let's go scoot all right there you go let's see if, if blender can actually handle level seven if it's not i oh yeah it's working it's a little slow but it's working Make a nice balance in between those two. Yeah, my kids, they went to um, trick or treat and <laughs> wow, they have a lot, a lot of candies. So I, I went to the bags and the, I, I picked like a thousand of this oh. and I have been eating all, all of those and it's like those are my favorite. Like, it tastes so good. Chocolate. Pure chocolate. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. I forgot that I was actually using uh, multi resolution. Thanks for that. I forgot about using actually re most of resolution. I can do that. Let me go and get. I have an uh, an elephant skin. I just noticed something. The level of uh, details in the face is too small. Let me do something here. Let's go for.
I'm probably gonna do some uh, extra sculpton so just to get it ready for um, the baking process but that's not gonna be now so Let me save just in case. I think it's ready, yeah, for uh, some color and textures. All right, guys, I think this is going to be all for today. It's been like three hours and 35 minutes so far. So thank you so much to all of you guys for being here with me today. It's been amazing. And uh, I think the next live stream is going to be on Tuesday in the evening, probably like uh, 8.30 Pacific time. So if you're around, come, uh, come and join me for uh, some Doodle Tuesday. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, see you in the next live stream. Bye-bye.